up strippy buds, Frazza Bunny here. If you're new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to react to My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 9. Let's do this. The neurotoxin mm, should so be lucky. circulating throughout your bodies at this point. You're not gonna die. That took me too long. Oh. Had the other side now. Oh no, it's it's a a Oh, I wish I was there to like catch him. I guess that was her worse than I thought. Oh no, Tamaki! No, oh, somebody help him out. I'm a cheeky. I'm really worried about him. <laughs> you should be. If you're a real man, you'll trust him. Yeah, he'll handle it, no problem. I mean, yeah, oh, right, but right now go. he actually does need help. He, to calm down. <laughs> he really he needs help right now, though. They don't even know. He did awesome, though. So don't get me obstacles. wrong. He's moving around inside the walls to monitor what's going on. That's freaky. So Aizawa's pretty that's clever. Right. I just need to see him. You get him, Aizawa. I can't believe you all can. You're talking about Chisaki? Yeah. It's what he started calling Chisaki. himself after the boss That's got sick it. and he came to power. I was saying Chizaki this whole time. The boss Sorry about that. He's who we respected. We trusted him. Hmm. The young head, he don't stand a That chance. top is hanging on that for its life. Doesn't care <laughs> about or even his own future. Anime. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Hmm. Eraser! He wants to knock me out of the fight before I can get eyes on him. Oh yeah, because he's afraid of you. He's afraid of Aizawa's no. quirk, because it's we'll legit. Stop this guy, then. Be careful, Fat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. I mean, the way he just turned into like a ball and rolled down there. Right, but then you jumped, and I kind of got stuck. Oh, well, so they both try to <laughs> save Aizawa. Go ahead, punch me. Oh. Oh yeah. I love Kirishima's confidence. <gasps> Back him. Ooh, that looked like it hurt him. <gasps> no, my arms are. You know what I think. Knives and guns got no place in a fight. Holy! A fighter, you, a, you a real fighter. Oh, snap. This dude's for real. You're not gonna take us down that easily! You get him, fat gum! Looks like some oh. kind of barrier! Oh, no. Here we go. They're both better suited for defense. Oh, gosh! Right in the... Oh, his uniform! Oh, jeez. Oh no, Kirishima, come on, no, don't... Don't tell me you're gonna fall here. No, Kirishima! You let them break your spirit, that means you've lost. When you're up against the yeah. the key is making them lose their will to fight first. Mm, I love now this inspirational stuff. I don't need a stupid bubble to keep me safe. This is getting a little bit more difficult, difficult for them. Remember what master it's obvious here. <laughs> Did he literally try to hit his partner? Who cares? Wow. All I want is a good death match. Very well. That guy has some anger issues. That's more like it. Get in close. We won't be able to win while that guy's still standing. No, like no, I don't, said, don't think that. Come on, you gotta have hope have here. Come on, believe in yourself, dude. Might die. No, oh, come on, I believe in you guys. Drop a spear or shield. I guess we're about to find out. Pat, he's protecting me, even though those punches are obviously wearing him down. It's come on, Kirishima. He keeps getting faster. Oh, back come, come. Oh, come on, Kirishima. I believe in you. I'm sending my vibes, my vibes in you to do this. No. No, Kirishima. You bastard. Your heart needs cracks, and there's nothing worthwhile underneath. Can't I do anything? He's already finished. You can see it in his eyes. Shut up, dude. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Nothing. Something's coming. 
I can assure you that. We're kind of short on cash. I can't do paper bills. Now, anyway, it wears off really quickly. You bullying a kid for some chump change? That's not very mad. Is that Kirishima? Who's that? Third year, Kirishima. Oh. Here he comes. This is black. <laughs> Get back here. Forget about it. Doesn't matter what your quirk is. Kirishima with black hair also looks pretty legit. I, I love it. <laughs> Mina Ashida from class four. She's really laying into it. And now they're getting along? What? Hold on, aren't they breakdancing? <laughs> what? Oh, they're leaving. Wanna come? Yeah! I hear that Ashido is applying to UA. People like her, and she's got a super flashy look. Yeah, she does. It's all about entertainment value and approval ratings these days. That's what people are looking for in a hero. Yeah, and they they kind of have a point there. She's definitely hero material. My hardening is pretty weak, and it's nothing flashy. You'll have your you time, Kitishima. Don't give up already. Weakness. We'll make up for your quirk's weakness. I haven't really thought about it that much, so... <laughs> I really like Kitishima's look with black hair. What if I had a flashier quirk? Come on, don't think that way. confidence I need to apply for the hero course at uh, UA? Come on, dude. What? Is that the school of hero agency? Tell me where it is. What the heck is that? Not gonna answer me. That voice is like really low. For real though, what is that? This is your this is your Tell moment, me. Kirishima. Move. Come on! Around that corner in the Nika left at the big street! The agency's two kilometers away! <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> what? Wow. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you saved us! It goes to show that just because um, somebody looks Why confident doesn't mean they might be like scared like Why? like crazy on the inside. Come on, Kitashima, you're <laughs> Don't be too hard on yourself. It's it's a process. It takes time for you to build confidence sometimes. Everybody has their pace. There were witnesses who said that just before All Might showed up, another kid... That was Deku! ...rushed in to help. Oh my gosh, that was before they met. When, you're really, when your life is really on the line, that's when your true colors show. Oh, I they mean, he has danger, a point, but... but... ...choosing to take that next step forward, that's what makes a person hero material. I mean, he's not wrong. Not hero. Stop saying that! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting really upset of like them bashing on himself so much. Oh! I whined and cried about how much I hated my power. Thinking about it now, that's probably why I admired him so much. I hated my own quirk, but his was similar. That's not it, is it? No, I'm sorry. Guess I never got around to watching it. I really love his look with black hair. It also looks really neat. I just love it. Tell me, are you ever afraid in those situations? Of course I'm afraid. You see? Show me somebody who's not afraid of facing death, and I'll show you an idiot. I never understood what he was about before. See? Not really, anyway. That's the philosophy I just he was right cool there. For charging full force into everything. No, he got it all wrong. Sidekick, I failed to save someone in peril. That day I hesitated, and somebody lost their life. You see, even the greatest heroes and powerful people in this world have been there. I'm sorry, I get like so into this. It just feels very real, because it is. Now you see that? <laughs> it's all about the attitude and the perspective on things. Oh, Kishima! I want to hug you. All the tears just make me want to hug these heroes. <laughs> They're too hard on themselves. But I understand. I could totally understand. I was too scared to move. Um, who is he? Pretty sure he's in class one. Anyone would be scared. He is just special. That's all. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, Kirishima. That's right. Oh yeah. She's so adorable. I love her look. <laughs> that's why he got his red hair. <laughs> so flashy. I'm not gonna. Maybe that's why he did it. That's right. Help protect people like a hero. Okay, yeah, see, I'm no, that's the spirit, Kirishima. 
And you're not pathetic. Stop it. <laughs> Maybe that's why his hair's red, because he wanted to be flashy. More flashier. So what's Looks cool on him. So yeah. Don't be too eager to change who you are. It hurts. Actually, it doesn't, but what the heck? Once you get over yourself, let me know, okay? I'm being nice and holding back for now. I really like her. I'm gonna tell everyone about your little makeover. She's so adorable. I just love her weird, quirky, no pun intended, personality. Things always frighten me more than anything else. Oh yeah, get into this, Kirishima, get into this. Sinking each one into my body and storing its power. Doing that takes energy and burns the fat. We are the Kashara Shield. Whoa, fat gum. He's up to something. You got this, fat gum. Come on, dude. Sure, I'm ready to unleash the power I've absorbed. You can do it. Don't hold anything back. Red, I won't regret anything. Now that's right. I'll do it! Yeah! I'll become a hero! That's right! I'll protect people! You can do this! If I crack, then I'll harden again! Stay strong! Protect others! Even if it means your life! All right, kid, That's freaking right! Right there! Yeah! A shield mm. of nothing can overcome the strength of my defense. The boy's attack was in vain. It wasn't in vain. Awesome job, Kirishima. You're doing freaking awesome. I'm not so sure. You made a mistake. And so did I. We underestimated the hero. He's skinny. <laughs> chivalrous spirit. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. A spear and a shield. The victory is ours. Beckham is not fat anymore. <laughs> Either way, that was freaking awesome. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm mind blown. That was legit. I'm so proud of them. I mean, yes, I'm still like really like upset that they got hurt this bad, but they done an epic job. Here's the preview. We're moving as quickly as we can to save Eri, but a Saikai's Iranaka used his quirk to trap us in an underground maze. Yeah, that was freaking trippy right, right there. The others. They've given their all to get us this far. I yeah, but you know Saikai what? Stop us now. They Next did a freaking epic squad. job right there. What are these guys doing I hope they'll here? be okay though. Go beyond. Plus Ultra. Holy... So that was episode 9. <laughs> wow. Dang. Okay, no, that, that was, uh... Super adrenaline Russian. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's discuss this. This episode was so freaking jaw-dropping as heck. First off, poor Tamaki. I am so proud of him, but I'm so, I'm so sad that he is on the floor now and like nobody even knows at the moment that he needs help getting up. These, um, heroes right now, the ones that are like really bashing on themselves, they're like trying to prove themselves that they can uh, with their potential. Ugh, but afterwards they're so beaten up, it just makes me so sad. Like I want to give them a hug and like congratulate them and oh, give them like a cupcake or something to, to be like chomp all done. I'm just so sad, like I want someone to pick him up after he fell on the floor and like is just so out of it now because of all the energy that he used up and all of the effort afterwards with Aizawa trying to speak his mind on how he feels he can maybe help the situation um, of everything being distorted and such by trying to find the villain, like the very source of where that villain is to put an end to his distortionness. Suddenly the villain was onto Aizawa and of course tried to like kill him right then and there, or at least really injure him badly. Thankfully though, 
bad gum, as well as Kirishima, at the same time had the same thought in trying to like save Aizawa, push him away from getting crushed. Of course, Aizawa is definitely a powerful tool they have right here. His um, ability definitely gives them an advantage. So I'm glad Aizawa was not harmed severely because that would have been a lot more difficult in <laughs> defeating the villains, Kirishima and Fakum. Like, oh my gosh. Seeing Fakum and Kirishima now facing two other villains on their own, things got really intense. At first I was like, oh yeah, here we go, Kirishima, unbreakable, let's do this. However, <laughs> we didn't know who we were up against for a sec here because after one of them striked Kirishima, that seemed to have done a lot of damage. Thankfully though, Fakum, you know, was being not only a hero to Kirishima, but as well as a really good friend in protecting him as a shield, using his body, even though he was getting beaten really bad. Ah, poor Kirishima in the back was trying to get up and like protect Fat Gum in return because he didn't want anything to happen to Fat Gum. I mean, nobody wants anything to happen to Fat Gum, but he was just so badly injured just from that one hit that he, he had a flashback to the time he failed <laughs> at being a hero because he couldn't move through fear or just doubt in himself. Though in this situation, like, dude, you just got punched like heck. Of course it's gonna be hard to move at first. Being hard on yourself is not gonna help the situation. Like, yeah, you got hurt really badly, but don't compare it to when you look back on, like, when you were younger and feel that that's like the same situation. It's not, because back then, you didn't get hit or anything. Like, you just wasn't, you were just, like, afraid to, like, move in order to, like, save some people. But that's understandable. I mean, you were young. Everybody starts somewhere and everybody has fears and everybody you know, learns at their own pace. Gain confidence at their own pace. In the flashback, Kirishima's hair being black. Now that's a look. <laughs> black hair with red eyes. It looks cool. But he also looked cute like when he was a little bit younger. I, I don't know how long ago that was, but for some reason he just looks a bit younger to me. Maybe it's because that was before uh, he really built himself up like with his muscles and everything. I have no idea. Or like I don't know what it is, like if it's his hair that makes him look a little bit older or like just more like masculine, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I just really love his black hair. As much as I love his red hair, I also decided I like his black hair too now. <laughs> with his red eyes and his sharp teeth, it looks really cool. I never thought I would see like a Kitashima with black hair, but I guess it shows that his red hair didn't come naturally <laughs> based on his views on like heroism. You gotta be flashy. I mean, it's just like icing on the cake, really, if you want to go a little bit extra. But overall, he learned, you know, with time that it's not all about, like, being perfect and not having any fear. Because just like that pro hero he saw on TV said, even he and the other pro heroes at some point have fear, even currently, as pro heroes. So it's nothing to be ashamed about or to like hate yourself on because it's a human thing. <laughs> Before heroism, there's humanity within us. It's a normal thing to feel and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. Otherwise, th a lot of those pro heroes wouldn't be where they are now like if they just held to that like negative attitude on themselves and outlook and perspective of things. It's called just keep trying again. And again, until you get there. It's a process. It's interesting to know how Kirishima saw Deku doing what he did when he tried to save Bakugo from that gooey monster. <laughs> and how that potentially has given him a form of inspiration in himself as a hero. And the whole idea of being a hero. Which is a good thing. Because, I mean, he, Kirishima, a lot of the classmates, even teachers don't realize, don't know yet, <laughs> that 
That moment where Deku rushed in to try to save Bakugo from that gooey monster, he was quirkless. Everyone has fear. Even now. <laughs> Even currently, for those who are on a very high level right now in hero work, they still have fear. Don't get the wrong idea, dude. Don't get the wrong idea, Kirishima. Tamaki. Anyone else who needs a little bit of that? <laughs> Just take a moment to focus. That's the key right there. Focus. You gotta think of the main picture here, what's most important. Letting fear control you, or push fear aside, and just get in there. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> do it. As long as your intentions are good, be kind to yourself. And believe in yourself. Because one day, you will get to the point where you want to be. And a lot of times, surprise yourself of your abilities, and really what you can do. For example, Kishima in that moment, no matter how badly injured he's a, he is, he all he thought as the most important thing is save Fat Gum. I don't want Fat Gum to die, so I must jump in. Ah yes, Fat Gum, skinny version. We saw it, my friends. We saw it. He looks really cool. I mean, as Fat Gum, before he got skinny, was still really cool. I think it's also because of the hair. We didn't see his hair. It was like covered. Yeah. <laughs> Their teamwork was awesome. I applaud them. And I applaud Tamaki as well. Somebody please find Tamaki, please. He's on the ground. He doesn't have life alert. Somebody. <laughs> this is the first time I've made a reaction video one right after the other. Look at it, episode eight. Now this is episode 9. Just to show you, things are getting real up in here. Anywho, now it's time to read what you bud said. Gotta love all this Kirishima backstory. Especially him with his black hair. That was surprising. Right? I thought it was a pretty cool look on him. Black hair with red eyes. Sharp teeth. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and really, Fat got so skinny after using his power. He's a tank, man. For reals. Using his body to shield Kirishima. Taking all those punches. Like, dang, dude. He did a really awesome job, though. I'm so proud of those two. Fatgum as skinny was very fascinating. <laughs> like, I think also because I haven't really seen what his hair looks like underneath. For some reason, I thought he was bald. I don't know why I had <laughs> that idea. But yeah. Pretty neat getting to, getting to see his skinny form, finally. Even though it had to be in a very, uh, negative way <laughs> in this situation. It still looked pretty bad. Though he's freaking awesome in his fat form too, don't get me wrong. Cause it helps, it helps with shielding things. So you gotta look at the unique abilities there when it comes to his chubbiness. What am I saying? But yeah, you get my point. Yeah, Fatgum has a skinny form, and it's hella sexy. You're all about sexiness, aren't you? I also find anime guys to be sexy. You're not alone. I saw on the wiki hero form, and I was like, when can I see this in action? Well dang, you're serious, aren't you? And then OMG, the look Kirishima does. Whew, I need a minute. You're getting really into this, aren't you? I really do appreciate your engagement in the chat with responses. Thank you. <laughs> Bruh. I kill for black-haired kitty. Seriously, it's a look. Like, for some reason I'm like inspired to draw that now. Then maybe cosplay it. Hmm. What do you guys think? Alright, that was all for the My Hero Academia chat to episode 9. If you're interested to join the My Hero Academia chat to be featured in a future reaction video like this one, you can find it on my Instagram. It'll be a join chat button in one of my stories, as well as a highlight on my profile. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I may just reply back. What did you think of Kirishima's black hair? Would you say you like his hair as black or red? <laughs> and what did you think of Fakum's skinny form? Also, do you think Night Eye's vision on All Might is gonna come true or not? And if not, how do you think it's going to change? 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button as it helps me push forward in creating content that I'm truly, truly passionate about. Also, if you're new here and enjoyed, subscribe and click that little bell button to become a strawberry bud today. Stay epic and I'll see you all in my next video. Remember, peace, love, and respect. Remember that. That's what makes the world go round. Love you all. Plus Ultra.